In the daily grind of a musician's life, every beat, every note, every moment is a step forward. We spend as much of our free time as possible immersing ourselves in our craft, creating the music, practicing the instruments, mixing and mastering, posting to social media, trying to get people to even hear our music. But sometimes that relentless pursuit, it can be overwhelming. But what if just for a moment, we decided to step away? What if we decided to break the rules that bind our creativity? Some of those rules we just made up for ourselves anyway. Sometimes, all it takes to find your creative spark is to break away from the routine. And in the spirit of breaking the rules and breaking away from routine, the sponsor for today's video, III, has actually created the world's first wireless portable studio monitors. I'll tell you a little bit more about how they work later in the video. The first rule I'd like to break here today is a rule I've set for myself. The rule that music must be made in the DAW. I would say 9 times out of 10 that I sit down to make music, I'm opening up Ableton Live. So breaking away from that routine using a standalone device like the OP1 Field here can lead to new creative ideas because a device like the OP1 Field for instance is a completely different workflow from that of Ableton Live. It's like recording to tape, committing things to audio, there's no quantization. So it's really just a different method that can lead to music that I wouldn't otherwise have made in my DAW. But even as I started to break that rule and work with the OP1 field, I realized I was working towards another rule that I generally set for myself, which is all the music that we make, it must lead to something. It must lead to finishing a track or a final product. So I switched over to another device that is not my computer and my DAW. Uh, I switched to my iPad using the app Synthesizer, which is an app that you can create these beautiful ambient landscapes um, across a step sequencer. It's just a total different way of working and there's kind of no pressure when I'm working in this app to make a final product. I'm just enjoying the atmosphere of the moment. And it turns out I'm not the only one enjoying the atmosphere of the moment. Shortly after uh, starting this ambient soundscape, we met the neighbors. So quick context here, decided to get away to shoot this video and stay in a tiny house in the desert that also happens to be on a goat ranch. We've got some great field recordings from here. Rule number 47, no goats on the table. In addition to the goats, there's also a group of these great Pyrenees that work the ranch and protect the goats. They're also really chill. Which is perfect for the atmosphere I was trying to create in getting away and making the music and breaking out of the routine. I'd say another huge rule I set for myself when I sit down to make music, I'm usually working on a keyboard. But I've been getting more into guitar lately, so Switching instruments, even if you're not super comfortable on another instrument, can be a great way to inject a little more creativity into your work and break away from the normal routine. As I was moving around and setting up the shots while playing guitar, I noticed that as I sat the guitar down on the porch, could actually get a really cool drone sound. So I guess the rule we're breaking here is you have to touch the guitar to play it. As I was doing that, I found a couple sticks and quickly I was breaking the rule guitars should be played with picks, not sticks.
Alright, so you're probably wondering what's up with these wireless studio monitors. Well, III has done it again, much like they did with their wireless headphones. They've created wireless portable studio monitors that can be used completely latency free, which means they are perfect for a production or performance workflow. I quite like the design too with the LED ring around the speaker. You can also orient them vertically as well as horizontally, which can be useful for different settings. There's three buttons on the top for volume, syncing, and power. Speakers are synced. You can adjust the volume for both just by adjusting it on a single speaker. There's some buttons on the back here because we can use a single speaker in mono or we can set each individual speaker to being either left or right. We've also got unbalanced and balanced ports so you can plug these directly into your system as well as power and charge them. And there's also the option to switch them into the Bluetooth mode versus the W plus mode, which is the wireless latency free mode we've been using in conjunction with the transmitter. Uh oh. The transmitter can be used either via the audio input jack or it can send audio over the USB-C. You can also use the USB-C port to power the transmitter if you're not using it in conjunction with a USB-C device. Oh God. So for devices that I've been using like my iPad mini, my OP1 field, or even my computer, I'm able to connect the transmitter directly to these devices, power the transmitter, but also send audio over USB. And I really didn't have to take any additional steps. It was just plug and play. Like I was saying earlier, if you don't have a device that does audio over USB-C, you can simply use a power bank, power the transmitter with the USB-C port, and then send audio out of the audio jack. It's pretty simple. But I figure that's enough talking for now. Let's make some music. Right. 
so I am back from my time with the goats. I'm curious to know if any of you watching this, if you can think of one rule that you've set for yourself, one habit, one routine that you're kind of stuck in, let me know in the comments. For me, I came back from this trip with a ton of awesome sample material and really cool sounds and obviously really beautiful footage and a, and a great experience being with the goats. And now that I'm back home, I've set up my new wireless studio monitors at my no computer station. I think that's where they'll live. And while they're there, I think I'm gonna mostly use them connected via the balanced inputs. But I started thinking about how freeing it is now to have this type of system in the studio, whereas I can be sitting here across the room from my actual setup and connected. Like any of my devices, I can be anywhere in the room and jamming and playing out through my system without having to run cables across the room. So I think that's fantastic. For the size of the speakers, the bass response, I was really, really impressed with. I can really feel the bass when I'm making music on there. So I'm happy to say there's not like a big compromise in sound with the trade-off being that these are latency-free wireless studio monitors. They are just, they have a great sound. They function perfectly as conventional studio monitors, but you can also just use them completely completely wirelessly. It's a great time to be alive and be an artist, a music creator. I wanna thank III again for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check out some more stuff about the Unit 4s, check the link in the description. We'd love to hear all of your thoughts on anything we talked about in today's video in a comment down below. If you like the video, it's a free way to support the channel and make sure the video goes to more people. And if you wanna support the channel in a big way, you can hit the join button down below, become a channel member, and there's lots of perks associated with that. For now, that's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.